Hey guys, today we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics on this channel, which is about becoming mortgage free. If you've been watching our channel for some time, you will know that we paid off our mortgage in seven years. In fact, we made a really popular video about this, which I'll link to below and above for you to check out. This journey of becoming mortgage free has radically changed our lives. It's brought us back a great deal of freedom, helped us on our journey towards becoming financially independent and saved us tens of thousands of pounds in interest. And not to mention giving us years of our lives back without being shackled to having mortgage debt. But are there situations when paying off your mortgage early might not be the right thing to be doing at that stage of your money journey? The answer is yes. So today we're gonna to explore some thoughts around when not to pay off your mortgage early. And I'm doing this on the back of many questions we get from you guys in our comments around this journey of becoming mortgage free specifically. If you're really enjoying today's video, I'd love for you to support us on this channel by hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video as well, and please share this video with one other person on your favorite platform, such as WhatsApp, for example. Okay, so let's dive in now and explore some thoughts around when not to pay off your mortgage early. Okay, so the first time not to pay off your mortgage early is when the return that you might generate from investing your money elsewhere significantly exceeds the sum of the risk-free return you generate from paying off your mortgage early, plus your assessment of the mental freedom that you get from paying off your mortgage early. So let me just unpack that. So ordinarily, people do a simple fag packet calculation about whether it's worth their while paying off their mortgage early. Let's say you are a basic rate taxpayer and you're paying tax at 20% and your mortgage rate, as an example, is 2.99%. If we took 2.99% divided by 0.8, which is the proportion of money that you typically get after tax, you will find that that gives you 3.7% as the number to aim for. In simple terms, if you are able to generate a return that far exceeds 3.7%, then it might be worth your while investing your money via that source and generating that return, then trying to pay off your mortgage early. In the same way, if you are a higher rate taxpayer and paying tax at 40%, simply take that 2.99%, but this time divided by 0.6, which is 60%, and you find that that gives you 4.99%. So if you're generating a return elsewhere of more than say 4.99% or 5%, then ordinarily it might make sense for you to invest your money via that path instead of trying to pay off your mortgage early. But I would say that the bit that most people leave out of this calculation is their assessment of the value they attach to the mental freedom that you get from paying off your mortgage early. So again, in simple terms, if that return you're getting from elsewhere, say for example, via the stock market or via property investing or, or whichever source you prefer to invest your money far exceeds the guaranteed risk-free return you get from paying off your mortgage plus your assessment of the mental freedom you get from paying off your mortgage, if that equation definitely weighs more on investing your money elsewhere, then in that scenario, you should not focus on paying off your mortgage early. But again, this is looking at the simple maths, and I can almost guarantee that you find that mental freedom to be almost priceless. And so in our situation, we found that paying off the mortgage early was what suited our personal circumstances a lot better. But as you see, as we carry on with this video, we also carried on investing our money elsewhere whilst paying off our mortgage early. Okay, so the second time not to pay off your mortgage early is if it's not your forever home. Yep, I get many people asking me this particular question in the comments. Should I be paying my mortgage off early if it's not my forever home? In my very personal circumstances, I would not be doing that, okay? We decided to do that in our circumstance because we bought a house that we considered to be very suitable for our scenario as a family unit with two kids, wanting a place that's very close to a city, in our case, London, but still giving us that feel of having a home with lots of space. And tighter that we bought the home we bought because it was affordable for us, actually significantly cheaper than we might buy ordinarily. So all the various indicators for our personal circumstances made it fit the bill for our forever home. And so for that reason, we focus on trying to pay off our mortgage early. Now, this is not to say that if you're living somewhere now that's not your forever home, that you should not attempt 
paying off your mortgage early. It's just that in my personal assessment, if I was in your shoes and if my rates were decent and that home was not my forever home, I'd probably want to be investing my money elsewhere. The third situation when you should not pay off your mortgage early is if it will affect your hunger and motivation for building wealth. Now, I found a really interesting article. I believe it was by CNBC and I'll put a link to it below for you guys to check out. And that article was actually written by a guy who had paid off his mortgage early, he'd become a millionaire and so on. He's become pretty successful over time. But then he said he'd lost the motivation for wanting to focus on his finances and build more wealth. When I read that, I thought to myself, hmm, that's, yeah, that's interesting, but very odd in my personal opinion, because in my personal situation, when we paid off our mortgage, we didn't just chill out, although it made our lives significantly better with less costs going out and things like that. What it actually gave us was the motivation to build more wealth, to focus a lot more on our situation, to look at our finances, to look at our kids investing, to basically look at our financial lives even more holistically, and it did not dampen our motivation for wanting to build wealth over time. But you might be that type of person who might lose the motivation and the drive and the hunger for wanting to build wealth once they've paid off their mortgage. So this is something worth actually considering. It is certainly something that people who have paid off their mortgage have seen as either a disadvantage or an advantage of paying off their mortgage early. Okay, so the next situation is if you do not have a well diversified net worth. Now, this is a really, really important one. We know a lot of people who've been inspired by our journey towards paying off our mortgage early. And a lot of those people are on their journey towards becoming mortgage free as well. And we absolutely commend them for going on this journey because it's truly life changing. But one thing we should mention is that the last thing you want is to have a really nice home that you can point to as a mortgage free home, but have it being a home that makes up your entire net worth, okay? Because that then turns into frustration because your money is locked into an illiquid asset and you might feel that, do you know what? I wish I had invested a proportion of my money into another asset class such that my net worth was well diversified over time. This is exactly what we did. If you've seen the video we made about should you pay off your mortgage early or should you invest your money through the stock market, you find we come to this very same conclusion. In fact, I'm gonna to link to it below and above for you guys to go and check out if you've not seen that video. We were overpaying on our mortgage, but also investing our money through the stock market. And that's because it matched our personal circumstances and matched the desire we had from a long-term financial goals perspective. So you have to make this assessment for yourself as well to make sure that although you've got a, a strong desire to overpay your mortgage and become mortgage free, do you please make sure that you are building a sufficiently well diversified net worth such that you do not have all your eggs in just one basket. Okay, so the next one is if the penalty for paying off your mortgage far outweighs the benefit you get from paying off the mortgage early. So some of the huge benefits from paying off your mortgage early include a ton of interest savings from paying off your mortgage early, and of course the freedom you get, and the fact that you obviously become mortgage free from doing it. But as you know, if you've got a fixed rate mortgage, for example, most mortgages have an early repayment charge attached to them, and you can only typically overpay by 10% per year. So you do have to assess whether incurring that penalty is worth your while and to what extent it takes away from the benefit of you trying to pay off your mortgage in the first place. Our suggestion would be do not incur a penalty. It's just not worth it. Why would you? There are different ways you can go about actually paying off your mortgage early if you wanted to do it without incurring a penalty. Again, I'll link to another video we made more recently on how to pay off your mortgage early. I'll link to it below and above for you to learn some of those hacks for how you can pay off your mortgage earlier without actually incurring an early repayment charge penalty. Okay, so the next point is you should not be paying off your mortgage early if you've got other more expensive debts to pay off. Now this one sounds really obvious, but you'd be very surprised 
how many people are blindly paying off their mortgage, which might be you know, 1.99% or 2.99%, but they've got a 35% or high interest loan outstanding that they have just sitting there as debt on their personal balance sheets. In that scenario, please do not pay off your mortgage early, but instead focus on paying off the really high expensive debt. Okay, so the next one is if the mortgage is for an investment property, okay? Now, we know various people who own investment properties and some of them are paying off the mortgage on a repayment basis and some of them are doing it on an interest only basis. In our view, if it's an investment, why would you be trying to pay off the mortgage early? It just wouldn't make that much sense. Although there are logical reasons for doing it if you wanted to improve your loan to value ratio. But in a scenario where the mortgage you've got is connected to an investment property, we would say avoid trying to pay off your mortgage early in that scenario and focus on perhaps having it maybe on an interest only basis if you are able to get a mortgage on that basis. Doing that, of course, enhances your returns whilst leaving less of your money tied up in an investment property. Okay, so the final situation I'd love to mention today is when you do not have a sufficient emergency fund, okay? Now, there's an exception to this one in particular. Ordinarily, you should be building up an emergency fund before you start actually overpaying on your mortgage. But the exception is if you've got a mortgage that has some flexible features, such as you having maybe an offset mortgage or one that's a current account mortgage, or if you've got a mortgage that has a borrow back facility, for example. The reason I mentioned these flexible features is that in those scenarios, you could actually overpay your mortgage. And if you needed to do that, you could actually borrow that money back without any issues because of the type of mortgage that you've got. But outside of that scenario where you might have a flexible mortgage, I'd highly suggest actually not overpaying your mortgage if you've not got yourself a pretty healthy emergency fund, which in our opinion is one that's at least six months in monthly expenses. Given the current state of the economy, it just makes sense from a peace of mind perspective to make sure that you have a decent emergency fund. Just be prepared because life can be pretty unpredictable. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. What are your personal thoughts on paying off your mortgage early? Is this something that you are currently doing now? Or have you actually decided that paying off your mortgage early is not the right thing for you to be doing in your personal circumstances? I'd love to know in the comments. If you really enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and support us here at The Humble Penny. Don't forget to hit the like button as well because that just encourages this video to be shared with many other people. And don't forget to share with at least one other person who's also on this journey of potentially becoming mortgage free one day. Take a look to the left to the previous videos we've made on this very topic on all things mortgage freedom. Thank you so much for watching today's video guys. And as ever in all things, be thankful and seek joy. Take care and bye for now.